Today's Bash tutorial is going to be on um, reading raw data from physical hardware devices such as a keyboard or mouse, probably what we're going to go over today. Um, today's tutorial won't necessarily be very useful to you, uh, but it'll be informative and it'll help you understand how things work a little bit more in future tutorials. Um, so first thing we need to do is if we go to our dev folder, so cd space forward slash dev, uh, everything underneath your dev folder, which is your device folder, is all your devices. If we hit ls to list all our files, you'll see a list of uh, you know your you know RAM and and um, you'll see your hard drives here, either under SD. Uh, or HD, uh, uh, yeah, HD depending on your type of hard drive, MIDI inputs, uh, a bunch of different things like that. Um, but there's a subfolder called input, which if we list out the devices, these are going to be devices that basically have button presses. Uh, you'll see your, your mouse and mice here. Um, and uh, one of these is going to be our keyboard, probably either event two or three, I think, when I just checked a little bit ago. Um, and the other ones, uh, I'm not really sure right now, but you can definitely find different devices based on what you plug into uh, the computer. So let's start uh, with the mouse. Now if I do, I can do cat, mice, and it will give us the raw data, the binary input from any mouse device. So I'm going to hit enter and it will tell us permission denied. And most input devices, if not all input devices, you're going to need to be root or sudo to, uh, to be able to read. Uh, that's a security thing, especially when it comes to keyboards. Uh, you don't want someone making a keylogger, which logs every keystroke where they can steal your passwords and whatnot. Um, so we're going to do the same command. We're going to do sudo, enter. Now, if I start moving my mouse around, ooh, you'll see all this gibberish, binary-ish output. Um, I'm going to hit control C to cancel that out. Now, if I do the same thing, I can pipe it into our hex dump, which will take that binary and put it into a more readable uh, hex format. So now I do that and I move around. You see it's a little more readable. Uh, and generally, uh, uh, stuff towards the beginning here is going to be like timing when you move the mouse and then you got information on which direction you move the mouse blah 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 uh, I'm not going to get into all that because it's not really important right now if we do the same thing what we do event uh, 3 yes this is my keyboard so every key I press on my keyboard it's basically saying off to the left here is going to be timing Somewhere in here, it's telling us what key is pressed, and it's another uh, column is going to be telling um, whether the key is pressed or released. So, as I was saying earlier, this tutorial is not necessarily very useful, more informative. Uh, I did find this useful once I uh, got a new webcam, plugged it in, and before I installed the drivers just to see if it was working, I saw what device it was. Uh, and I did a dump like this and then I moved my hand in front of the camera and I could see the binary or the hex uh, output changing as I moved my hand across the camera. That's telling me that the camera was sending input to the computer and knowing that, I know that I, the camera, I could get the camera to work. Um, there's also certain types of cameras where you can actually grab the raw data if you were to cat it out into a file, it will save the video input to that file. Um, maybe I'll get into that more later in the tutorial. So this is more informational, uh, but get ready for more useful raw data uh, tutorials here in the near future.